Hey, welcome to my Dan Computer Training Channel. Today's tutorial will be just the best when it comes to Word 2016. And for this particular tutorial of today, it's going to be the, it's my, actually my best, my best of best. So, if you are a student, if you are a lecturer, if you are a teacher, if you are a researcher, if you are a business person, if you have any knowledge, if you have any need for any research, if you love getting more information from a reliable source instead of going through different means of um, getting those resources, Microsoft Word 2016 bring it to your doorstep. So please allow me to show you how, of course, from reliable sources. Microsoft Word 2016 have become so much endeared to all of us. Of course, we can see from insert. Today, we are going to focus attention on add-ins. Add-ins. You can see add-in this group. This is add-in group. All right, all right, add-in group. Now, let's quickly explain what add-in does. This is what happened. If you are ever interested in making research, okay? If you want the research to be from a reliable source, or if you want it to be from your area of specialization, then add-in is the solution. Take for example, you can have Wikipedia here. Many of us know Wikipedia to be one of the uh, highly recognized and reliable tools when it comes to making research and reliable information as well. So I may click on that Wikipedia you could just come down here. You will see at the right side of it where you can type exactly what you have in mind. All right. Uh, what do I really have in mind? Well, let's just say that I have interest in knowing the first president of United States of America. So let's just try that. All right. All right. All right. All right. Press. Okay. Let's just start with that. Okay. Let's say first. Okay. Press. President of you just have US. Alright. You can see it here with type first president of US. Now as soon as you click enter, the research will drop down here as you can see from this web. I'm sure all of us are doing it. You can see at the right side of the screen. Alright. Now if you want in detail, okay, you have it. George Washington so you could just click on George Washington and what will happen is that you will drop down the entire data. so actually go into the Wikipedia and give you the latest information the highly reliable information that you can quote it and can serve as an authority for you so if this what you have here is good enough you just highlight it okay we have I've learned in many occasions how to highlight in this case I'm highlighting everything by control A I'm coming here I'm right clicking and clicking on test all right all right all right so right clicking and clicking on the test okay. now it's trying to pass what we have cut so what it simply mean is that you could make a research right in your Microsoft Word you do not need to go far searching for different means of making such a research you can make it right when in Microsoft Word. no no it's not only Wikipedia we have now let's go to the store right let's do our read. let's come to this red icon or red uh, ribbon now just click on it now I want to teach you how to make this research on your own and how to keep adding different tools or different software that can be much good or useful to you all right in this first one that is highlighted is actually all that is general general it treated in all subjects and so on it can keep them um, adding and adding all right but if you want to be specific if you are under education you come in here just click on education and under education you can see different material different book different you know, resources that can actually add your knowledge your learning when you come to under education all right you can actually maybe you are into production the productivity you can click on here and see okay maybe this may be of use to you this is probably this uh, uh sign okay in word and powerpoint you for you to add it just click on add here you see add here just click on it 
As soon as you click on it, it asks you all this. Uh, just accept it and click on continue. So you may observe what happened to our screen. It is trying to load it from this segment. Well, let's go off the Wikipedia for now and uh, let's give room to that one. And uh, it is loading. As it's trying to load here, it's actually adding to this my add-ins. My add -in. I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes, but just let's see what happened here. So you can see it, it has already dropped down here. So you can get started by just clicking on here in order for you to get started from there. You'll be able to use what it has for you. Okay, so it will require you doing a few configurations that to be signed in and so on. And by so doing, it become part of your Microsoft Word. At any time you want to use it, you can always rely back on or you rely on it and make your research so you can choose and then run. Okay, follow it up step by step and get it done. And so on. All right, now how do we get the ones we have added? As earlier mentioned, just come to my add in, come to this and click on it. Do you see most of them? And even the one we have just added, Wikipedia, we have just opened, and many more. So, for you to see much more, you can come to see all. They all. They all will show you much detail on those ones you have added to so my system. These are the ones that I have added. I can continue, continue, continue. Interestingly, they are actually very free. So, let's go and have a little more look at it again. So, here comes the store again. And okay, we were actually in productivity. Suppose you want to learn more about to make references, maybe in project or in a seminar or whatever you may want to search on. Wow, you just come in here, we'll teach you on the reference what to do in each of these. The actual authority, of course, if you want to deal or maybe you want to search the Bible, of course, then we say Bible just now. Okay, this King James Version, if you want much more it is where you can get all you want to get with very easy way of getting it if you have anything in mind that you show up you can just come here and type like for example we're looking for bible just now and we click on um that and type bible you can see it dropping the bible here i could just click on add and uh, then continue now, I will show you how to use that app, for example. Alright, so you do not need to actually have a Bible in your system or to install it, but with this few steps, you can just do this. We have a King James Version here, and there are all books in here, so you could just come here and choose a book. Oh, I actually love Ruth so much. So, it's showing you how many chapters and whatever you have, one, you could just go there and click and chapter one you could just put it verse one and press enter now you may you may just to know that as soon as you have you done that what will happen is that if you go down and or you will see it here of course you can see it here now it came about okay and so on and so forth so that means there are so much you can benefit from what 2016 Obviously, the most intriguing, intrinsic part of it that I've ever loved is when it comes to add in. So, let me know what you think of it in the comment section and feel free to add, let me question, and also share this video. I want many persons to learn. So, just tell me about what you love about Microsoft Word 2016. Do you have something positive to tell them? This is an opportunity. I'm gonna do what I can to forward it to them. So I appreciate your fine work in order to boost their, their research, in order to give us much more of what we should benefit from them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, so please like, share, and then make your comment accordingly. i love to see each of you in our next tutorial. Thank you, and bye for now.